Hey soldiers, what's going on? This is Sergeant Merrill, and welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Play of Oblivion. I got a lot of feedback from you guys, but let's go ahead and get through this cutscene right here so we can get a basis for this storyline. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. This is the day. Gods give me strength. Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. You will find your own path. Take it. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Uh, okay, so that's the basis for this storyline. You know, kind of a by chance meet. Nice little Better beginning for any story no for our character here. And uh, and before we get into this, before I switch to live, before I switch to live, my live commentary. I want to play this conversation that I had uh, with my wife. She'll, she'll sometimes come in while I'm recording in my office, and uh, she'll be like, what you doing? She just wants to be a dork and, and uh, you know, laugh and see what's going on. And uh, we discovered that she had a hard time saying oblivion. You have got to listen to this. I don't know. My words have been so off lately. Say oblivion. Oblivion. <laughs> I can't say it. Say oblivion. <laughs> Do Oblivion. Oblivion. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Just say it. Just say it. I did. Just say I want to play Oblivion. I want to play Oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Say it. Oblivion. Oblivion. <laughs> Just try, try harder. No, you're making fun of me. You want me to do it? Sounds like I'm saying a million. Say ob. Ob. Bliv. Bliv. Ian. Ian. Oblivion. <laughs> Oblivion. <laughs> God, it just, ah, uh, that makes me laugh every time I listen to it. Ah, oh, it's so funny. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and switch to my live portion of this. And for this, I, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward because I think at this point, most of us know the storyline uh, for Oblivion. Uh, if you don't know, I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, the uh, the Emperor there dies. Um, he is assassinated, but before he does, he tells you that he has uh, one last son, uh, one last heir that nobody knows about. And he wants you to deliver the amulet to the heir by going to speak with this uh, this man named Joffrey. Joffrey yeah. is going to know exactly where the, uh, yeah. the son is. But let's go ahead and skip forward so we can go ahead and get to the live portion of this commentary because I know that's what you guys want. All right, we are now switched to live commentary, and uh, I wasn't originally intending on switching to live commentary, but I figure it'll make this experience much more genuine, and uh, I'm just going to have to try for you guys. So we skip to the end of the dungeon here, and um, as you can see, our character has developed uh, just a little bit, and, and this whole dungeon that you have to get out of uh, for the beginning of this storyline is just to kind of test out how you want to play your character. And so what I've chosen is I'm actually going to go with the two-handed sword once I get a hold of one. But for now, since this dungeon was so dark, I actually uh, went with the torch in one hand. And we're going to go with light armor. And uh, I know I have some heavy greaves on right now, uh, but that'll change once uh, <laughs> once I'm able to steal some. <laughs> um, but we're going to go with light armor because Conan wears light armor. Um, so it's going to be like kind of a barbarian type. And, uh, and we're just see where it leads. Um, so when I leave the dungeon here, it will give me the option to show you some of the choices I made. Um, the birth sign. I actually went with the shadow, and the shadow is one of the best ones. Actually, the Atronarch is actually another really good uh, ability to choose, but you can't regenerate Magicka. I'm actually c considering doing this anyhow. Um, you know what? I might actually change it. The reason I like the shadow is it makes it very easy to steal stuff. Um, once a day you can use this shadow spell and you're pretty much invisible so as soon as you steal something you become uninvisible so it allows you to basically steal one item a day 
uh, right out of the stories, right in front of their eyes uh, without them noticing. But considering that I don't plan on using too much magic, this is actually going to be a really good uh, burst sign to have because you have a 50% chance of just soaking up any spell thrown your way, uh, which is a really nice thing. So um, for this guy, I think we're going to do that because I think when it when it comes to magic, that's going to be his, uh, his downfall. And our class actually generated my own class. It's called uh, Conan the Destroyer. <laughs> um, specializ specialization is combat with favorite att attributes in strength and endurance. Um, major skills, armor, athletics, blade, block, light armor, security, and sneak. So I think this will... This will make for one of my favorite classes. I like being the very physical person, like very, you know, not exactly heavy armor. We're going to go with light armor for this guy, but just uh, just very physically imposing. And uh, it's a good way to play through a game because I think they, they cater to that uh, a lot of times with places like the arena and stuff like that. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where that leads. So we are finished. We're done with the woods. <laughs> Uh, I even have this thing installed on my hard drive. I was hoping the load times would go quicker. And this is awesome. When you first leave... When you first leave that dungeon, and you just see everything. Everything you see, you can, you can walk to. You can climb. Even the mountains in the distance. It's uh, one of the amazing things about this game, and I'm, I'm really... Excited to see what they build on it with Skyrim. Anyway, we, we have a lot of crap that we're going to need to sell, so let's go do that. He is over here. The best defense. We'll start with him. Almost regretting that I don't have that shadow spell now. Because uh, there's some awesome shit to steal in here, but um, we're gonna do this the right way. I handled the heavy armor at the best defense. I don't know what to talk to you then. I need light armor. Another thing, don't go in third person <laughs> in the stories, because you might accidentally steal something. And uh best any fucks. That's me, Morrow Rufus, light armor. The very best. All right. I want to have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Don't need a club. Uh, you know, I might keep arrows. I might just to have some type of long range uh, asset. Warhammer, don't need you. Except one of the bows. Don't need dagger. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need a shield. I'm not going to be using a shield. Uh, don't need a helmet. Conan don't use no helmet. Uh, that should just about do it. Sell you. I don't need you. Not going to deal with uh, that shit right now. Gold nuggets, keep the repair hammer. Just unload everything that we picked up in that dungeon. Alright, now we're ready to buy stuff. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I want the fur, fur curious, fur boots go with all fur. And where is that? I need that. Hmm. It's okay. There's a weapon shop I can go to, so no big deal. So let's sell this rough leather crap. A pleasure to. Probably sitting here naked. <laughs> Conan's a beast. about greaves you don't have fur grease <laughs> running around with no pants what do you all right my wares 
I'm sure there's something. There they are. No, no, I just need one. Goodbye. There we go. Now we're looking more barbarian like. Now I just need that heavy sword, and we're going to be set. Set to start our journey. I also have the difficulty on the highest one, so I'm not fucking around in this game. Like, I'm gonna have to play smart, or I'm not gonna be able to get some stuff done. Hack and slash. Isn't there like a sword one? And I'm missing. I know there is. Get my controls messed up here. So we're. Fighting chance, that's it. Yeah, this is it. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rose. Armor, weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? Play more, that might be what I'm looking for. Just need one. That's more than I. Come Here we back. go. Okay. Good. Yeah, buddy. That's looking good. I like that. I also want a hot key. This right here. Some arrows on my back. Just to have that long range advantage when you need it. Bye. Perfect. Now, now I feel like I'm ready. I feel like we're ready. Let's go ahead and hit that first marker and go talk to Joffrey. Let's do this. Can I help you? Indeed you can. Indeed. Uh, well, go ahead. You know what you're looking for. I'll just That's go right. back to my reading. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Ooh, you look at it. I'll chop your head off! Ooh! <laughs> I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? Ah, word travels quick. You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguard, the Blade. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. 
Hmm. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but yeah, I buddy. will help in any way I can. Let's get them resources. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply. Tra Unlock that bitch. Let's do it. Okay. Steel Claymore, take that. Potion of Healing. Fire Shield. I like it. That should be all. We'll take them steel arrows and that steel bow too. Let's go ahead and get this equipped. Yeah, see so it does a little bit more damage and that's that's good. Let's hotkey that. Steel arrows equipped. Yeah, they look nicer too. Yeah, we're on our way up, guys. Okay, so we got to go to Kavach to get his son. And I'm big on fast travel. I don't want to waste you guys' time, so if I can, let's see, can I fast travel there? Where's Kavach? Let's do that. 